I don't know where I am or how to get out of here or if I should stay on the surface or drop down. <laughs> don't be shallow. You guys know this place that I'm at? The little uh, indent that I went over to a couple of times during the start of the series. How home's right over there by the blue obelisk. Well, I came over here and I realized that there's silica pearls on the map. It shows there being silica pearls here. I didn't really remember that, but it showed that there's silica pearls along this river. But if you take a look, this is just, there's no river. So I didn't understand what it meant by there being silica pearls from what I thought was all the way over there, which is not the case. Actually, there's silica pearls starting here. And there is a river. It's just not a river. It's actually an underground tunnel. And I'm not sure if this is classified as a cave or not. Because after a certain point, the lighting changes and there's the cave lag entering right there that's cave lighting whenever you go into a cave it changes the interior of the map to make it look different it's different shading effects to make it look good you know i don't know i haven't explored too far there it is again actually that might have been it leaving the cave i'm not sure all i know is leaving this place back to that area caused the usual lag that i get but you can see right here there's silica pearls i i grabbed a ton before but look at this Look at how many there are in a really enclosed space. Look at this. Oh my god. This is actually the most that I've found so far. That's 200. Yeah, that's 217 in like the little, a little bunch right there. Silica pearls are so damn rare in this game because they don't respawn hardly ever. So that's insane. And this is crazy. I almost wish I could get rid of the uh, foliage there. But I don't think I can, nor do I really want to. Look at this over here. I need to repair my chainsaw. And to do that, I need silica pearls. And also to repair my armor. And I need silica pearls for that too. So that's the reason we're out diving at the moment. And I know that other area I showed on stream. Unless I think I did on stream. I'm watching Twitch right now. That other area I showed you guys still hasn't respawned. Go figure. Why would it? Not like things respawn in this game. So I'm out looking for new places, found this, and let me tell you, if this place respawns, which I feel like it probably won't, I'm missing some as well. Look at that. I missed one down there. I missed another one over here. No wonder on the way back out, like I went a third of the way and then left, I still found more along the exit. Because if you look this way, you're probably, look at that, there you go. You have to turn around. The angle at the, yeah, you can't get rid of the foliage by hand. The angle at which you're swimming at, you have to look backwards to make sure you're not missing any. So I don't know if my eyes is not keen enough to see, but... Definitely missing some. Oh my god. Holy shit. What is this place? This is not only the highest concentration of silica pearls that I've ever seen, but I've never found a cave like this before. And it continues to go down even further. And I, I know there's a million silica pearls over there, but I'd rather not get lost. I'd rather just continue going in the linear passageway. Look at that. I just missed so many. Or at least I missed two. I need to be actively looking behind me. I missed three. Wait, I missed more. One, two, three, four. Any more? I could just be spamming E, I guess, while I go through. That doesn't really save anything. Good God. I don't know how many silica pearls I've gotten from this place alone. I guess all the ones that I have are in my inventory, so I'll check in a second here. I don't really want to look until I'm completely out of the cave, but... I mean, could you call this a cave? Oh, yeah, it's a cave. Incoming lag. All right. Well, for some reason in my client, whenever I go into an, so, any water inside a cave body, this happens. 
I guess it makes seeing silica pearls a lot easier, so I'll give it that benefit. Oh yeah, they're like flashing in my eyes. I can't see a thing! This is so ma- I'm so happy. This is gonna last me a good while. Look at this over here. Still doing well on stamina too. Oh my god, there's so many that I'm missing. Like the fact that that's 75 and I didn't even see them. Holy shit. Okay, I think that's all for there. Is there a surface here or cuz if I die here from a lack of stamina, I can't see. Oh, there we go. Is this place? You guys are hearing this reverb, right? I'm recording, right? Yeah, okay. My bird is following me, and my bird's on passive. Terrible idea, by the way. <laughs> Shit, just realized. Listen to the echo. Yeah, it's hear that echo, right? With that sound, especially. Is this crystal? I'm so happy. That's so much crystal. Jesus. What is this place? I'm gonna remove all the stone that I can- that I can, and thankfully my weight's at 500. I don't want to grab too much where I can't explore, but... I need crystal just as badly as I need silica. How many silica pearl- 2,000?! Some things I'm needing to drop right now. Just save a little bit of weight. I'm still at 385 weight. I might have to drop some things down here, like a pike or whatever. I even have to drop some scuba gear, depending on it. Ignore the egg. I don't know where I am or how to get out of here, or if I should stay on the surface or drop down. <laughs> don't be shallow. Oh my god, I'm in god mode. I am sorry in advance. That's from yesterday. Holy shit. Okay, nothing that I have been doing in terms of grinding would have gotten me killed in any way, shape, or form, but that's very good to know. I am so sorry. I've never done that once this series so far, and that's the first. My bad, entirely. I just- I don't want to stop exploring this place. I don't want to Google it, because I don't want to know what this is. What are you? Just standard rocks, okay. Man, thank god my inventory's... Got the buff on it, man. Otherwise... Look at this. This thing's massive, and what's the point of it? You guys probably already know if there is one. Like anything, you go toward the light. Thankfully, I've got these suckers right here. What's up there? Is that crystal? Is that just more crystal? Just a light source for crystal. It's just a light source for crystal. Is this crystal here? 
No. That's what's making the glow effect, though. Holy shit, there's so much. Well, I can't carry it all, unless I wanted to throw out a bunch of things, which I don't really want to. Like, 20 weight for that. I've got 400 crystal on me. It's 200 weight. Yikes. Alright, I might take some damage here. <laughs> Might's an understatement. Uh... Where do I go? Like, what do I do here? The reverb effect went away. And now it's just cold. What are you? Megalania. Not anymore. Oh. Do I go up there? I'm gonna find out. Mm, that did consume a grappling hook, I think. What's up here? I need to get over to this. Can you let me on, by chance? Or no? I think if I... Uh, hmm. If I let go here... Oh, yikes. Alright. Uh... Hmm, I need to angle this right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What is this place? Where the hell on the map am I? Oh, shit. Well, hello. Artifact of the Cunning. I should probably check and see where I am at this rate, huh? They called me Cunning. How nice. <laughs> Discovers an artifact accidentally. <laughs> Me talking to an Argentavis. Wait. Oh, am I stuck? No, I'm good. <laughs> Me talking to an Argentavis. <laughs> hey, can I have your weight capacity for silica pearls? For silica pearls? Yes. Actually discovers artifact like a boss. Oh. <laughs> uh, dude, why is Side not here? Like Side and Speedy, I feel like we'll get the biggest kick out of that. Okay. Time to do a little bit of research because I need to know exactly where I am. Ark, Ragnarok, artifacts. Let me see here. Artifacts. It was artifact of the cup, uh, or what is it? Um, oh, that's not the wiki. Where's the wiki? Explorer map? Is that it, or is it in artifacts? I think it's in, oh, artifacts. Let me see here. Artifacts of the Cunning. All right, let me take a look at you. Uh, Carnivorous Caverns. That's where I am. The Carnivorous Caverns are an insanely huge dark cave system full of Megaloceros under the Freya Plains. The Artifact of the Cunning and Artifact of the Immune are found here. The cave is also connected to the water tunnels. Oh, literally the water tunnels. So that's a name for it. Okay. Um, there are three entrances. Hillside entrance. Castle of the Swamp water passage entrance. I guess that's where we came from. Yeah, it was. And the Dead Bluffs entrance. The Artifact of the Cunning is surrounded by light crystals down a side passage. Okay. What about the Artifact of the Immune? Let's see. Insane darkness, especially in some waterways. Getting lost. Oh, yeah. Literally. Dangers. Getting lost. And unseen creatures, but ones that can see you. Not an issue. Recommended equipment. Grappling hooks. Hey, that's why you bring grappling hooks. And I have a GPS as well, too. It says that's re recommended as well. So, Artifact of the Immune is found at 23 latitude, 44 longitude. Is there any extra page on it, by chance? The water tunnels. Let me just see specifically Artifact of the Immune. Uh, okay. The Artifact of the Immune. Right. Okay. That just brings me over right there. Got it. Okay. So, we need to go for the Artifact of the Immune. 
to what location? 23-7-44-5. So, 23... Oh, well, you know what? I can tell which ways. Okay, so 23-7. So, if I'm correct in this... Oh, let me see here. Yeah, 2046. So 2046. I need to go even further. So I need to go. I need to go northeast. I'm trying to figure out if I'm correct in that. I need to go northeast from here, which would be 237 and 445. Unless I'm wrong. Oh, no, it's southeast. God damn it. I forgot the numbers. Right. My bad. Yeah, so 23, 7, and 44, 5. So the right number should be getting lower by now. Unless I'm going straight across, which it looks like I am. 44, 5? Yeah, okay. Damn, I was kind of proud of me for, like, possibly getting that one correct, but I definitely didn't. Okay, so... I can't see shit, but the nice thing is at least I have a parachute because I'm pretty sure I need to go down from this point. Yeah, I need to go back down. All right. Uh, okay. This is mad cool. And talk about something I did not intend on doing today at all. I mean, clearly I wouldn't have brought the shit that I did. All right. 23-7. 44-5. The only thing it told me... Uh, bioluminescent cavern. This part of the cavern is still the same as the rest of the exception of tree roots, moss, and the fact that you can see that... See due to the bioluminescent mushrooms in the walls. The artifact of the immune is found in this part near the safe havens. Okay, so the artifact of the immune is found in a bioluminescent cavern. Again, the same with the exception of tree roots, moss, and you can see because there's bioluminescent mushrooms. So, in hindsight, not a place we should miss. This isn't... Okay, this is where I came from, I'm pretty sure, right? So do I need to go through here? 45 should be getting lower. Yeah, because it's south. Wait, no. That's south. Wait. No, we do need to be going south, but we need to go going east. So... Okay, we need to go this way. Right? 21-2? Give me 21-3. I'm looking for 21... Wait, what? Ox, oh, I'm going north. No, I need to be going southeast. I just came from this way. There's nothing over there. I'm gonna go to the right. Believe it or not, this... YouTuber doesn't really have the biggest understanding of how to use a fucking GPS. <laughs> Don't really have to ever, so why would I really care? You know, I could have kept going this way and just said it's over here, and that would have been it. Where are you? Are you a Uterinus? Or whatever the... No, you're some Megaloceros. I don't know how it's... Uterinus or whatever the name is called? I don't know. Hey, buddy. Those yellow eyes will haunt me in my dreams. Welcome to Spookville. Holy shit. It is spooky out here, bro. Alright. I'm pretty sure this is it. So this is where a second artifact lies. If indeed... This is the way I could go? No, that is a wall. Okay, good to know. Maybe not. Or 21-7-44-5. We need to be at 23-7-44-5. So we still got a ways to go... Is it this way? Yeah, okay. So... Down here. Okay, there's another bio- Oh, shit. Are you an entrance? You wouldn't be an entrance because the artifact wouldn't be that close to an entrance. Whoa, this is beautiful! Can you- Are there trees down here? It'd be a bit stupid of a question. This is all this green life, but... I don't think there's any trees. Or any way to get wood, because I would love to see if I can make a foundation while I'm down here, but... I don't think so. Alright. Are we close to where we need to be? 23? Yeah, we are. Okay. Uh, Let's do it then. I would like to cling to the wall for a second so I don't have to fall into the water right away. That's not going to be an option. Yeet. Okay. Hey, buddy. 
Gonna ask to just exterminate you real quick. Talk about beautiful. Am I going the right way now? 23-7, 44-5. No, it's the opposite way. So, this is uh, the thing about Ark. On this map. Not every artifact, as you can tell, is guarded by a cave. Wait. 23, 7. 44, 5. Is that over here? Yeah, I think it is. Not every artifact is, um... Not, sorry, not a cave. Surrounded by a boss. There it is. Found it, baby. Which means these guys, as you can tell, they're, you know... They're easy to find. Okay. Artifact of the Immune. That's two artifacts right there, baby. Now, getting out. I say we do the fun strategy and just run and eventually make our way out from there. But by the way, I, I do want to talk to you guys about one thing. And listen, I know YouTube comments. I know a lot of you guys lurk, that sort of deal, but... You know, my, my favorite thing is hearing what you guys have to say on matters. I would really love to know. I know with how YouTube is becoming a lot faster with content, I feel. There's not as much dead air. Content's very quick, very, you know, like action-packed, that sort of thing. A lot of talking, usually. Do you guys mind these videos when they're completely uncut? Because I feel like if I was to cut this up, it would lose... like the intensity that this cave really is because this thing is scary and I feel like that's best to keep it like that also ignore the telegram messages going off that's even spookier why'd you just let me go are you stupid potentially because I, I don't want to cut this thing up. I want to show you guys the whole thing. Because this thing's insane. And I feel like to a certain degree, I should probably try and find an exit soon. Even though it said there was only one underwater exit. Oh my god. It said there was only one underwater exit, so... This is a dead end. A lot of obsidian, though. We shouldn't need to dive down into a lake or something to find our way out. And I hope to God we don't, because I legitimately wouldn't be able to see. Like, that might really screw me over. I'll probably know where I came in from, considering... Bombs up. I don't really have a lot of healing potential here. Where's this? Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh. Might be our way out. Unless that's not actually an exit. Let's find out. Can I not go up there? Hold on. I don't want to spend my grappling hooks doing this, but... Err, that might not be an exit. I didn't mean to hit that one. Shit. Yeah, it's not an exit. Damn it. I should have just understood that it... Like, the bright light means that it's not actually somewhere you can get out from. Makes you wonder why... I mean, it's probably because on the surface there's not actually any hole there. They just artificially put that light in. Doesn't actually mean that there's any opening. Sucks. We just lost a lot of grappling hooks doing that. All right, we got to be a little bit more cautious of our hooks. Maybe I should find an exit, thinking about it. Let's see. There's the Dead Bluffs entrance, which is at 21, 8, and 4, 4, or 4, 2, 2. Yeah, let's get a GPS out here. And then the hillside entrance is 17, 7. Oh, that's far away, 4, 2, 2. So we'd be better off doing the 218422. And then also, oh, wait a minute, sorry. Fourth entrance in Viking Bay, which is where we were at, connecting through a very long water tunnel. Scuba gear required. That's where we came from. Okay. 
<laughs> scuba gear required. I love reading that because it, it shows that I've progressed an arc. Or the fact that I brought scuba gear standard, but, you know, if I was just starting out or, like, in the middle tier of this game, I'd read scuba gear required and be like, damn, I can't go there. But it's like, damn, I was able to go there. Bitch, what the fuck is up? Here and out to the left. We're going to try going through the dead bluffs entrance. Which, actually, I should probably take a look. What is the dead bluffs? Is that a place that I should be wary about? The Dead Bluffs. A swampy motor around a castle. Oh, shit! It's all the way up there. Huh. I know where that is. Okay. Alright, so 21.8. And 42.2. This is exactly where we need to be. I think we're gonna go home, and we'll put the artifacts in. And I'll take it in from there. Uh, once- obviously, once we get out of here. Once, once we get out of here. I wouldn't just- cut you guys off like that. 21, 8. Is that still going down this way? Wait, no, it's not. Wait, because that's going this way. 21, 8? Yeah, 21, 8. Is it right here? It's 4, 2, 2. No. I'm not getting fooled by you again. That's not an exit. Unless it is. Wait, no, it's not. 21. Wait. Which way is 21-8? So right here? 21-8-4-2-2. Son of a bitch. Is it up there? I'm gonna throw a grappling hook up there because I seriously think that's it. Unless it's going down to the water. No, it's not through here. Thank God. I don't want to have to go down to the water in this shit glitch. I don't know. It's just me riding, ro riding rocks like that permanently. I think it's... I think that's just how it is. I'm not sure. Can we get out from you? I didn't mean to hit it again! Shit. Do I have to dive? No. That's where it says the exit is. But that's just another false light. Okay, let's go to the other one then. Because we can't get through here. Yeah, I'm whistling to myself. Whoa, that sound! That's so cool! That's really ominous. I love it. Alright. Let's go to 20... Well, actually, which way are we going? Okay. 21.1, 40.2. Castle of Swamp Water Passage Entrance. You know, I'm finally going through a water passage if I know it's the actual way. Is this even a way I can get through? Oh my god. Uh, I don't think so. Do I have a higher gamma setting by chance? Gamma 6? Nope, this is the highest we got. Uh, not the place I need to be going. Alright, I said I wasn't going to cut. Because it's going to probably involve me going in circles. I'm going to cut here. So I think I need to swim. Do we need to swim? No, we don't. Okay. Be right back. Okay, well, I just climbed up pretty tall. We haven't gone too far. The reverb's back, which leads me to believe... I need my stamina back. Leads me to believe we're probably back up the area where you could exit. I guess I was pretty far down, which... Again, kind of shows the idea that that sunlight is fake because you're so far down and there's nothing on the map that reaches that low. And that's the lag for exiting. Did we just exit the cave? Yes, we did. There you go. Wow. Through here, really. Interesting. Okay, well. We just made it out of there alive. 21-8-42-1. Yeah, but it's the one that I tried to find earlier. Please go away. Not the time. Not the time. Not the time. Not the time. Just trying to have some fun, man. I forgot I'm in a swamp now. Shit. Alright, uh, so my Argentavis, I don't believe has died. 
Your not lit raptor was killed by a raptor? Wait, not lit survived that long? Not lit was a raptor I tamed in like episode three and I, f I lost him. That's when I discovered, oh my God. Yeah, it was like episode three or four at the latest, maybe even two. It's when I was out exploring, trying to find like a cooler place to live. And all I went to was like the, the Stonehenge right above where I live. And I saw like the green, really high up like pathways. And I had a raptor up there. I even said that I'm naming him Not Lit. And he just now died? He survived that long. Dude, that's actually kind of lit. Hey, I named him Not Lit because the the name, the reason for that was because I tamed him and he was originally on fire. And that's why I tamed him. But then when I tamed him, he lost his flame, so I named him Not Lit. But that's pretty lit to live that long, completely on your own, doing your own thing, and to go down with a fight against who else? Well, actually, a level 135 raptor just died to a level 130 raptor. Probably was going up against a pack, I would assume, because otherwise they should not lose that fight. Yo, I'm, I'm going to tear up a little bit, man. That's actually kind of sad. But, hey, salute to you, soldier. Salute to you. Yo, what's up, boy? Hey, did you miss me? This dude's probably like, how'd you get out from from there all the way up here? You missed me, didn't you? I know you did. All right, baby. That's some crystal. That's some weight on you for sure. And you're not even that heavy. I kind of want to go back in there and get more crystal. <laughs> Another time. At least I know where to go now. We need silica pearls or anything down there in the cave back out. That cave, that entrance is lengthy though, but I think, I mean, that's a nice entrance. So now, this is something I haven't really shown you guys, but you know, I did a lot of work off camera. It wasn't part of an episode on the structures up here. And if you're not looking at the coolest part, which in my opinion, I mean, it's all of it really, but I want you guys to take a look at one thing. Here, go ahead and uh, do me a favor. Sit down there, please. I don't want your wings flapping. Go on, Tyrannot. Down. Thank you. This is the cool part. So you guys are going to see it from the top, but I added this to the elevator. Take a look. These are artifact pedestals. Ten of them. And they're all resting on invisible glass ceilings. So they're all... They're all just basically floating you know this one's resting on that one ceiling i needed to put down these walls in the first place so i can never remove that but the idea behind it is as you're going up the elevator this is like a really cool way of demonstrating and showing you guys the progress that we've had toward the seasons this is one of my favorite things that i've done in arc ever like i put an insanely good use to how tall this elevator is and i didn't even plan for this elevator having just enough room to fit 10 artifacts exactly because that's how many there are in this series this is like one of my favorite things i've ever done in arc and i really hope you guys like it because i love it so showing you guys how you do it um it's not the easiest thing oh actually this one is literally the easiest but we're gonna go and put these in the order that we find them so artifact of the cunning it does get cut off a little bit, so kind of upset at that. I didn't realize how tall that thing was. I kind of thought that it would have been shorter than a ceiling, but that's all right. Um, it's in the order that we get them. So this is the first artifact that we ever got, remember? Second artifact we ever found, and then I think I can just do it from right here. Yes, I can. Okay, cool. And third artifact. There we go. Oh, that color looks so good! I love it! The glow, oh, it's so beautiful! This is gonna look insane during the nighttime as well, too. So, I'll record a little bit before the nighttime falls. Or when the nighttime falls, rather. But yeah, uh, all these things are with ceiling. So, the way that I put this on was very simply, uh, take a grappling hook, pin it to the top there, and just swing in each of them. It's a little bit tedious, but, I mean, for right now, those are the two easiest ones that we'll ever get. In fact, putting the first one on was harder. And then I added this. That's going to be where we put the head of the Ice Queen when we defeat her. We could also put some other stuff there, but that's exactly where that thing's going. 
But yeah, just to show you guys, uh, when you call the elevator, I know that'll take a little while since unfortunately it's not the fastest. Coming down, it's a little lackluster, but rising up, it's pretty nice. So next episode, I think, is going to be the episode that we take on the ice cave because, uh, I mean, this was a pretty nice break and we need to do this in the first place anyway. Probably would have made an episode about it. So yeah, if you elevate from here, you can see all the ones that we've gotten in order with the colors as well, too. You can't... I won't, I won't say anymore. Anyway. We're hopefully going to get this all filled up with 10. And then, of course, the thing is... See, personally, I want to keep these 10 here. And then when we actually get, like, our 10th one, I'm just going to spawn in another 10 and then use those on that one. Because I want to leave those there. I know it's not entirely vanilla, but there's really... I mean, are you really going to get upset at me for that? I just want to keep those there for decoration and then use the artifacts inside of there and not have these just disappear. Because I don't want them to go away, you know? They'll go away as soon as we enter in to finish that up, but I want this to be done. I don't know, I might sell off this world or sell it off. I might put it up for download. That'd be kind of cool. Have you guys explore around the base or whatever. A little bit of progress, though. I'll show you guys. We bred up. The hell happened? Oh, you guys tried getting to where I told you to go. Ah, yikes. These things were a lot neater things. These guys were all in a lot neater of a formation before I got here, but uh, I'm in the middle of breeding up. Well, no, I've already bred up more, and I'm basically just leveling them. So let me see if I can find... No, it's a 2700. That guy's not too bad. 2500. Yeah, you can see by the levels here. Uh, 2800. We got another pack of vultures nearly ready to go. 3000. And there's also some guys over here. 4500. 5000. And I made myself a rule. 5,000 health is enough. More than enough by far for the queen. At this rate, what we should be doing is every time a vulture gets up to 5,000 HP, we start leveling up the melee damage. Because if you think about it, if some vultures die out, that's a collective issue. So if we just have one vulture that has like 7,000 HP, but the others have much lower, that's not going to do anything because if all the others die and he's left alive... He's just going to die. So if we can get all these guys around 5,000, they'll all survive about the same length and their damage will just be increased. So they'll take less damage as a result. It's a bit tricky, but there's a couple of these guys in here that you can't, I can't really find, but some of them don't have that much health. I think 2,600 is the lowest right now. Yeah, 4,700 right there. And then this guy, 2,800. This is all just bred up over a day's span of AFKing. So, I'm pretty goddamn content on this, and I think that cave is going to be easy peasy breezy. So, the good news is with this episode being a little bit of a, I mean, not, it's not a break. We found artifacts. Like, that's good. That's progress being done. Well done to us. Didn't even mean to, because this was going to be the Ice Cave episode. But what this means is we get even another extra day of getting these guys leveled up. So, an even higher probability of succeeding. As well as, I still need to go out and get a ton of polymer or whatever. Because this guy, has got all the polymer, all the crystal, all the silica pearls that I need to repair the sets of armor. Because there's a potential that I might just go in and brute force all of the ice worms before the queen. So that these guys don't need to take any damage at all. But we'll figure that out in a day. So, I will see you guys back for next episode. If all's planned, and I don't find any other caves by accident like that one, we should be doing the ice cave and defeating it. See you guys then. Real quick, I'm going to go ahead and drop into what it looks like during the nighttime, though. Nighttime, this is what it looks like. Kind of got a really cool ominous glow along the sides of it. Let me go ahead and move that down. I don't know what I just commanded my dinos to do, but I think I'm fine. You can see the colors. And then as you move a little bit more, you, you know, it reflects off the back there. It's going to look sick when all of them are up. But for right now, that's how it looks. You can really only see one protruding up. Which, you know, it's a downside that you can't see the others from down here very well, but, you know, it makes it all worth it when you go on the uh, elevator and go and eat a little bit of food there to get rid of that. When you go on the elevator and you just go up. That's really cool. Ah, oh, I love it. I haven't, I haven't seen it with all three until now, but that's what it looks like. And then we'll go ahead and stop that and bring it down one more time. Oh, the red, the purple, and the green. The color combination looks so cool. I love it. Love it. So anyway, hey, thank you guys for watching. Take care.
Always see you back tomorrow for another episode of Art 30 Days to Die. Ciao!